Good morning. I, of course, am your kind and caring and compassionate counselor, and I want to talk with you this morning about steps to college. I have been doing some presentations and have done some so far for the ninth grade and the 10th grade on steps that you need to take as a student, as a family to go to college. This morning, I want to direct my attention specifically to juniors and their parents, but this also applies to all students. I want to talk with you about steps to college because all of you will be going to some form of education after high school. We call it post-secondary education. College can refer to going to a two-year college like SCC, a four-year college like Peru State or Wesleyan or uh, Lincoln, UNL, UNO, UNK. In any event, you want to be prepared to take the next step. One of the best ways you can do that is taking care of your grades, looking at your GPA, and checking your grades daily through your power school. It is so important because your GPA or your grades will determine your work ethic. If you're a good, strong, hard worker, that is evidenced by the way you get your assignments done and turn them in to be graded. So your GPA is important when you're looking at college. Also your ACT score. Now we're gonna take the ACT as juniors here in about a month on Tuesday, April 4th, and many of you are already busy studying for the ACT using our John Baylor materials that we give you free of charge. You also have been given the ACT product called Online Prep, and you can fine tune your own ACT preparation for doing that. And you'll have that available to you for the next few months. One other thing that colleges look at when they look at you as a student is your GPA, your ACT, but also your extracurricular activities. So it pays for you to be involved in sports, in music, cheerleading, what have you, but you are a well-rounded student when you're not only taking care of your grades and your ACT test score, but you're also busy out in the community or developing yourself. One thing I'd like you to do as a junior, and also our sophomores are learning to do this, get your activities resume up to speed. You should have already started one through Education Quest. If you go to educationquest.org, you can locate activities resume and you can start putting in those things that you do to make you uniquely you. You'll also want to be uh, you'll want to be thinking about taking uh, dual credit classes. And what I have right now is the current catalog for our SENCAP classes, which are dual credit classes that we coordinate with Southeast Community College that will allow you to explore some of the subjects, some of the areas or careers that you're interested in, and also get very reasonably priced, inexpensive college credit. So you want to be thinking about that as well. You want to attend a college fair so you find out what college is the best fit for you. So I'm also going to say that that is something you can do. They have virtual college fairs, but I also want to say go and plan a college visit. Juniors, you and your parents need to go and do that. What college are you interested in? It's so important for you to go and take the time, take the trip, step foot on campus, meet and greet the people from that school, and develop a vision of what sort of college or university you want to go to, or a trade school, if that's what you elect to do. Something else students can be doing as juniors is get a part-time job and start saving for expenses that you'll have when you are a college student. That is something you can do. I want to, I want to direct these next statements to families that have students. I want you to think seriously about taking college visits with your student. As I uh, understand, we can take three visit days every year as you're considering a college. I need to have parents, families, take an active role in looking at the grades. Check the grades often through PowerSchool. Don't trust your child or your student, your young person, to give you the proper stuff. We give you access to PowerSchool and it's wise for you to check that as often as possible. I would recommend you make it part of your daily routine. Another thing you can do for your junior or sophomore or senior is set up a job shadow. All of us have friends and family who have various jobs. One of the ways that our students can learn about various careers is when they go off and do a job shadow with somebody they know and trust. Families, you'll want to be setting up a savings plan for your son or daughter should they want to go on to college. One of the best ways to do that is consider a NEST, N-E-S-T, 529 plan through the state of Nebraska. 
Yeah, that is a savings account specifically designed to save for college. You can find more about that if you will Google Nest 529. You also want to attend an Education Quest financial aid presentation or workshop. Those are done virtually, they're also recorded, and you can play those back and help you kind of navigate what sort of finances are needed for college. Now on our end, <clears throat> we're going to keep uh, tracking grades as a school counselor. I watch the grades and the GPA like a hawk. We're also sponsoring the ACT on Tuesday, April 4th. So we want all of our students to do the very best for that because those test scores are reported to the state and everybody uh, evaluates them around the state to determine what sort of school we have here. So we encourage our kids always to do their very best for that. We'll also want to be registering kids, and I've started that with our juniors, for classes for next year, that they can have a complete academic load and prepare them best for the future, whether that is moving on to a college or university, or it's going on to a trade school, or simply entering, entering the job market. Also, lastly, we want to encourage all of our students to update their activities resume and keep that current. So there you have it a few of the things you need to know for the steps to college and to be successful in your careers.